you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen and the question goes like this it says the crank oa revolve anti-clockwise about o and b moves to and fro along the horizontal line through o plot the locus of p if OA is 30 mm, AB is 95 mm, and AP is 20 mm. So this question is involving link mechanism. So the first thing you have to do is to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. The three most important things you need to write is the parameter, right? We are giving OA. OA is the crank, right? The radius of the crank. And that is given to be what 30 millimeter and we're told that as this crank rotates anti-clockwise right um ap is 20 millimeter that is the extension of the connecting rod which is ab so ab will be moving to and fro along the horizontal um line through o right so if you look for lookups of what ap that is the extension of what of the rod so if I want to replicate this, the first thing I'll first of all do is to draw my horizontal line this way, right? If I'm drawing my horizontal line this way, I'll be having this. I'll have this. That will be my horizontal line. And I'm going to draw the vertical line too, this way. And this will be my vertical line at any given radius right so if i should put this i'll have this this way so where they meet in this point will be my center what my center o right that will be what center what center o now the radius of the crank which is oa is given to be what 30 millimeter and i'm going to measure half of 30 which is what that is, i'm going to measure 30 this is 0 to 3 is 30, right? And I'll place it at the center O here, right? And I'm going to draw my crank this way, which I'm going to hold the ticket. You can see that? So that is my crank. Now, well, we've gotten O, we need A. And A falls along the circumference of this crank or circumference of this circle, right? So how are we going to do that? Now, I'm going to divide the circle into what? into 12 equal parts right or if i like i divide it into what um into eight equal parts but let me use 12 equal parts now if i do that i'm going to take the radius oa the radius of the circle or what i say radius of the crank and i'm going to place it at each of the circumference the end of the circumference and i'll mark up i'll come here also i'm going to mark up to this way right and i'll place it at the uppermost here now mark right and what and left you can see that so i'm going to draw a line that will be passing through the center of the circle from each of those points i marked along the circumference so from this circumference here to the center o i'll draw the first demarcation here right i'll come again from the next center point to the center o i'll get the next demarcation here from here I'll get from the next center O here, I'll get the demarcation here. From here, from the next center here to the point, from the next point to the center point O, I'm going to get what the next demarcation here. You can see that? And what I can see here, it means that any of this line can be A. It means A is revolving around the circle anti-clockwise, right? So I can, through the question, I can try to take this point here. All right? Is what we have here and i'll tick in it that point here will be my point what my point a so this is o a as the question suggested right now you see a b is along this point here that again so i'm going to measure from o from a here b is along the center point here so i should use my center line here to be better so use my center line here a long one short long short long short just like that center line there 
So B is all along this point here. So the distance from A to B is given to be what? 95, right? Given to be 95. So I'm going to measure 95 from A. Look at what I'm doing. From 0 to 95 here. You can see that? It's 0. And this is 95 here. You can see that? It is what? 95 here. So I'll draw a line. That's going to pass through that point. So we know that we know this point 95 here. So we'll draw a line that will pass through that point from A. I will know from A, A here, right? We'll call it what? AP. So P is 20 minutes away from A. So you see what I've done now? So I'll do it this way from this point. I'll take in it. To go through here and touch this point here. So where it meets here will be my point what? My point B. Why the ending here will be my point P. Right? So this is what we have here. You say this B here moves to and fro along the center line here. I'll just draw my line to show it's going to and fro this way in this direction here and here. Right? So it's coming this way. And this way, this is how it is going to and fro, right? It's coming this way. So I'll put this way, yeah, and what? And yeah, so depending on how you want it. So this is going in this manner, right? So this is what we have here after replicating the diagram here. And we're told this is going in an anti clockwise manner in this way, right? So if this is A. Here will be what? A1. Here will be what? A2. Here will be A3. A4. A5. A6. A7. A8. A9. A10. A11. Then A back. So when you move from A back to A is one revolution. Or you say one convolution. Or you can call it one ton. That okay now. So in doing that, this is what we are going to be having. So we we'll start and replicate the same thing from point A at every given point. So we know very well that from A to B is 95, right? Then from A1 again, I'll mark to get what? B1. This is B1 here. You can see that then i'm going to connect a1 to b1 this way you can see that i'll connect a1 to b1 but better still i'll take my meter rule this way see what i'm doing i'll just mark extend it to be 20 then i'll to b here right through a so we know that from this point to this point is what is 20. Now I'll just use my faint line and connect them to stop here. You can see that. And that will be um, P1. Here will be B1. That's for the other this point. And I'll come again with the same measurement of A to what to B. You can see I'll come to A2. If I connect here. This will become what? My B2. Right? And I'll do the same thing from this point. Allow 2 millimeter extended from here to be here, to B2. You can see this is from here to here is 20, right? To B2 here. So I'll just come here and I'll draw passing through here and ending here. You can see that? This will be my P2. This is my B2 here. I'll come again with the same measurement. Um, A to B. I'll come to A3. I'll mark on the horizontal line here. And that will be what? My B3. Right? And I'll connect A3 to B3 from this point here. So extend that to be distance of what? 20. You can see that? 
from here to here is 20 ap so i'll just extend it this way now stop here so here will be what my p3 right here my p3 and this is what we have then i'll come again with distance 95 that is a b here i'll come to a4 and i'll mark in this manner and i'm going to get what b4 so i'll just extend this away from here 20 is 20 here and i'll be my point p so i'm going to call it what p4 similarly using 95 from a5 i'm going to mark here so you look at a5 and b3 at the same point so i'll call it what b5 here then i'll draw a line from this point to pass through 5 what i will allow the extension here to be 20 from here to here is 20 with reference b5 to a5 i'll draw a line and this will be what my p5 right with radius a6 i'll place it here you can see that a6 and b2 is on the same point i mean b2 and b6 is on the same point right so from this point i'll draw another line that will pass through a6 with reference of b6 here and i'll have this so we'll have this this way you can see that 20 and i'll have this you can see that so this will be what my b6 right i'll come again um with the radius of 95 also a b you can see that i'll come to what b7 um, a7 i'll mark a7 and b1 is on the same and um, b1 and b7 at the same point this is b7 right and i'll draw a line that will pass through this point through this and measuring 20 right now have this you can see that so this is b7 at this point i mean um p7 here here also is p6 should not forget that p7 p6 now the next one will be from a8 i place it here i'll mark right a8 and b is on the same point so b and b8 is on the same point so the reference of b b8 to a8 take the distance of 2 here you can see that now draw a line this way so this point here will be my p8 right the same thing with the of what the 95 again from a9 to this point here i will get what on this line that will be b9 right that will be b9 so i'll draw a line from b9 that will pass through a9 so the distance 2 cuts from 2 to the end end is 20 so i'm going to draw my line that will be what my p9 the next one is here also from a here along this line giving my what my mark along this line which is not really necessary i'll get my a b10 so my b10 will be somewhere around here let me put it here b10 right so mark, measure 20 away from here since there's already a line here so from this point to this point is 20 and that will give me what my p10 right so the next one is a uh, a11 the radius of this 95 i'll mark again a11 and um, p9 they're on the same point so this will what b11 so i'll draw a line that will find from this b11 here through uh, a11 with distance of 2 can see that and i'm going to draw to this point 
that will give me my P11. Right? Then the last one of the list is P, which I already have there, which is there. So all these points, P, 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 those are the locus. I want you to draw the locus of what P. And locus of P sometimes elliptical in shape. So I'm going to use my French curve in order to draw the locus of P. So let me start from P2 here. All right? Let me start from P2. So this is what we have here, and this is the locus of P, right? So as this crank rotates anti-clockwise, this point B moves to and fro along this line here, and this is the part at which the locus of P is going to work to pass through or form. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.